Prices are up and vacancies are down. That's the headline in commercial real estate news in Arvada these days. Recently, the Arvada Economic Development Association asked local realtors to share their thoughts about market trends in the office, retail, and industrial sectors. And the consensus is, Arvada's a hot market. We definitely believe Arvada is a hot market right now. There are many products trading and also new businesses coming. So it's a great market right now in Arvada. It is a hot market, but so is the entire Denver metro area, which is what we kind of consider uh, Arvada as a part of. I do industrial and I do land. Both of them are at a premium right now. I mean, you know, the old adage is they're not making any more land, and that's really true. Uh, they're not making any more industrial land, especially. <laughs> Uh, it's unique. It's different from any other city around uh, Denver and uh, even close to the foothills. I think one of the biggest things is location. We're you know, 15 to 20 minutes from downtown Denver, 15 to 20 minutes downtown Boulder, so you can get everywhere fairly efficiently from Arvada. <music> got a great housing market up here you know you've got anywhere from the um, lower to medium price heises all the way to you know some of the nicest mansions McMansions you can find out there but you've also got great schools here the RTD light rail system that's coming in and the transit hub all of those provide um, easy ways for employees to get to work or even customers to come to your business so it's that infrastructure that really supports and helps those businesses grow and thrive Rate, and I do believe that the amount of increase that we've seen in the lease rates is sustainable um, for quite some time. There is some talk of another recession. It won't be as big as the one we, we saw, but I do think that Arvada, with the growth that they have and the new businesses and opportunities they're adding, will be able to sustain those lease rates. I think it's huge. I mean, it's huge. Uh, all the way along the spectrum, developers when they come in, they need to have people that, you know, here's what you have to do, lay it out, very simple so that uh, the, the businesses can understand what's going on. And it's important to show the, the businesses that you're trying, but it's not so important that you need to give away the store. It makes the process so much easier because uh, clients can meet here first. They can have their initial planning meeting here at Economic Development, and it makes the process so much easier. In Denver or around this area, you kind of drop an industrial development into a residential area and you have to deal with noise and smell and trucking and all those other things that are maybe a little bit more unpleasant to be around. Um, so uh, um, it, it gets a little bit more expensive to try to you know, make it happen, I think, in this area because you have to have higher architectural standards, you have to have higher standards overall than you would if it was a little bit further away. Any kind of technology company I think is very important to be watching right now and, and I think uh, Arvada is particularly well placed to take advantage of that. We're really near Boulder which you know is kind of the, the bedrock of it but you're getting a lot of that out of Denver as well so I, I think you're really well placed here for it. You know I think that people still need brick and mortar even with the e-commerce product people want to touch it and feel it and see it. Uh, I think that there's a social component to it that you just don't get from e-commerce. I'd love to tell you about the coolest one I'm working on right now, but uh, let me just say that we have a developer who's very interested in doing some industrial development. He's got some land that uh, we're trying to get under contract right now in the area to do some spec buildings, and it'll be an awesome addition to the area. Uh, I just signed a lease with a new brewery uh, for uh, Mr. and Mrs. Park's building over on Yukon. Uh, we're under contract on another building over on Yukon uh, with a uh, firm that does minerals. Uh, they sell minerals and buy minerals. I did recently sell a commercial building on Ralston and it was probably one of the easiest sales I've ever had. Um, there's great traffic on Ralston and just the whole energy and the vibe of the community in you know, the downtown, Old Town area is just thriving and, and people want to be here. I think people are seeing the benefits of the, the revitalization of Old Town and it's kind of neat. 
it, it's the way it should be.